Are you wondering how you could draw the drip effect? If the answer is yes, then my friend, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to draw the drip effect step by step. For our first step, let's talk about drawing the drip shape. One of the things you wanna stay away from is drawing your drip just like so. Instead, adding some curves to your drip will give your design some personality. For step two, I'm gonna show you how to draw a row of drips. One thing you should avoid is drawing all your drips at the same height. This will make your drips look dull and boring. Instead, let's draw our drips at different heights and different variations. This will make our drawing more appealing and less repetitive. For step three, I'm gonna show you how to make your drip pop off the page. So drawing your drip with a single line will definitely get the job done, but giving it a 3D effect will definitely have it pop off the page. So first you're gonna start out by drawing your regular drip shape, and then you're gonna go back and draw a double line on the left side. I do this because this is where I have my shadows. Follow these steps for all your drips and they'll really start to stand out. Step four, let's talk about how to color in your drips. So the first thing you wanna do is color in your entire drip. Next, you're gonna pick your color for your shadow and then color on one side. As you can see, my light source is to the left, so I'm gonna use the white pen to draw in my highlights. Now that we went over the basics, let's put all those steps to a good use and let's draw a design with the drip effect. Before I do the grand reveal, I just want to give you guys an important note that I don't want you guys to miss. You can check out more of my art tutorials in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.